Well, howdy folks, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making a, another video for you out of Idaho. And um, what we're looking at is a 2009 Dodge Journey. It's got a 2.4 liter engine in it. So this video though is gonna cover pretty much a broad spectrum of similar situations. And so what we have going on here is ultimately it came in with a check engine light, it, it needed brakes and all that stuff. So we've completed the brake job. It had some ignition coil misfires. So we went in to go ahead and replace the ignition coils. And unfortunately the ignition coils, the boots were stuck onto the spark plugs, which means the coil came out, but the rubber boot was stuck down inside of the spark plug hole down there, okay? And so I had to dig it out. And so I don't know if you've ever been in this situation before, but I just kind of wanted to, to show you that there is no right or wrong way to dig a boot out of a spark plug hole. The combinations of tools that I used was a grabby tool and picks and also o-ring picks and removers okay these do real well to actually get down in there and cut the side of the boot if you notice that's pretty much what i did you see here i cut the side of that boot so it would release now why did this happen it's a combination of cheap coils if you notice this coil is split right here at its seams Come on, focus. It's not gonna focus. Anyways, yeah, you can see right there. So where this is glued together at the factory cheaply, this split. So ultimately that kind of spread this part. So when you went to pull it out, <clears throat> just again, it being cheap, this got stuck down in there. The second reason why this happened is, I noticed in some of my other coils I looked is they're pretty dry. I don't think there's any dye electric grease in there so always want to use dye electric grease and you want to stay away from cheap online coils and again if you run into this situation there is no right or wrong way to get down in there now I also I have an inspection camera and so that really helps me out in these situations I this is part of the reason why I actually have one of these I work on enough stuff that I end up in this a lot so I just kind of stuck my inspection camera to one side and as you can see that left me enough room to go ahead and get down in there with tools like my o-ring remover and so then I just come down here see it up oh, there it is in the camera there okay and I just come down here and I just watch it Sometimes I'd have to reset my camera. And then you pretty much get the idea. There's, there it is right there, okay. And so I would just, you know, just slowly work that out of there. It took me about a day's worth of going back and forth and just messing with it. It's not something you should absolutely rush. Just take your time doing it. But if, you're, if your spark plug boot breaks off down in there your ignition coil boot breaks off down in there don't fret too much and yes that spark plug is broken I had to break the tip off in order to go ahead and get down in there and get the boot that's not a big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this spark plug I'll even show that to you real quick but before I do that I've got one boot left one ignition coil left and it is stuck okay I've got the second one out as you can see that one's good I didn't have to break the spark plug on that one and that one is good nice and clean down in there as well so that worked out good for us but this one this one wants to break off I can already feel it so I'm gonna kinda show you the technique I can't really tell you but I can definitely show you the technique that I use to try it when I end up in this situation to try to get them out without breaking them all right, I apologize for the weird editing on the video. I dropped the camera and it started a new video. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna twist this as much as we can, okay? And then we're gonna start, we're just gonna twist it back and forth. And just be patient with it. Do this a few times and then start to lift it. And you can see it 
Now, when you see it come out and stay, if it comes out and it sucks back down, continue to do this. See if you can get it to come out and stay. All right, when it begins to suck back down or you feel resistance, that's when you want to stop. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist it as much as I can here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to twist it this way. And at this point, I'm just going to use a rocking back and forth. I'm just going to take my time. See what I can do to get that to come out. And there you go, it finally let loose. So, as you saw, it, it, there's nothing like special to it, just come up with your own technique, work it back and forth, wiggle it this way, wiggle it that way, wiggle it this way, twist it, lift it up. If it sucks back down, you know that it's not letting loose because again, this is rubber, so there's some spring to it. So just, you know, you just gotta feel for it and bam we're good to go so now i'm gonna go ahead and get this spark plug fixed up get my new coils on and this one should be ready to go on down the road all right folks well this is matthew your friendly neighborhood technician don't forget to like and subscribe i am signing off